Hey everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York. We're here today to talk to sellers about compromises that you should never make. And especially never make in a seller's market. Right. Um, so the first one that we want to talk about is not entertaining surprise renegotiations. So I guess what do we mean by that? So these are starting to trickle in a little bit. Um, and buyers are obviously having to be competitive when they make an offer. Um, and what we're, what we're seeing sometimes is that a buyer gets an offer accepted and they're really excited and then they sleep on it and they're like, uh, like right. buyer's remorse a yes. little bit. Like, what did I do? Did I overpay? Should I have done that? Um, is this the right house? And then they're trying to go back and renegotiate At price fact. terms, mm -hmm. um, repairs that are, may not be justified. They're trying to find things that they can renegotiate mm -hmm. on. Um, which quite frankly is, is unfair to the sellers because they took your offer as it was written and, and then buyers are trying to change that. Mm -hmm. And we've seen sometimes, um, you know, if a buyer waves an inspection <clears throat> and then they go and do their final walkthrough, then they might be trying to nitpick the house at that point to try to kind of make themselves feel a little bit better because yeah. they uh, there might have been stuff that they noticed at the final walkthrough that they didn't notice previously, you know, things like that. So we, you know, educate our sellers of what they're, you know, legally required or not to do yeah. um, and you know, oftentimes if they picked your offer or they, and they had many others, then you know, you're in the driver's seat as a seller. So you know that this buyer wants your house, they wanted your house, and then there was X amount of other buyers that also wanted your house. So those are the legal terms that everyone agreed to. And mm -hmm. we typically will encourage you most often to not go to so the much. renegotiating yeah. table. And, and in the instances where there were multiple offers, most times one of those other buyers is still out there. Mm -hmm. so, Waiting for the call. I know. Something happened. And you know what? When we're working with buyers, sometimes we get those calls mm -hmm. from listing agents and our buyers are ecstatic. So mm -hmm. it's not every buyer, um, but there are some buyers that do experience buyer's remorse and it's a real thing. Um, but just because they're experiencing it, it doesn't mean that you have to budge on it because there are other buyers out there that... Um, won't have those same hesitancies, right. I guess we'll call them. Um, so the next big compromise, compromise that you shouldn't make, non-compromise? Non-compromise? <laughs> um, but basically not accepting unnecessary discomfort in this market. Mm -hmm. So like, what do we mean by discomfort? So like Brittany said earlier, as a seller right now, you're in the driver's seat. So if you need time to find something um, after you sell, don't compromise on that. I mean, there are buyers out there that will say, you know what, we'll pay top dollar and we'll give you the time, time that you need right. to find something. So if a buyer comes in and tries to bully you saying, you know, we're offering this great offer, uh, but we want to close in 30 days, regardless of if you have somewhere to go or not, you don't have to accept that because mm -hmm. I mean, it, there's likely other buyers out there um, that can give you the time that you need or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, right. And timing and closing is just the easy one to talk about for people to relate to. Mm -hmm. um, but don't compromise on that because there's there's no need for you to be put out, put out right. for any or reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't want anybody no. to be homeless. And we'll make sure that we have a plan in place to make sure that doesn't happen. Like I have a buyer and a seller right now. They're building, and they had to sell their house. And we put their house up, and we that was a, just non negotiable for them. Like we have nowhere to go. We have dogs. We have kids. You know, we cannot, we have to be in our house until, you know, the end of November when our new build is expected to be done. So we negotiated that with the buyer and we made, we made sure that there was a compromise that worked for everybody to make sure that that, that need, which was the most important need yep. for them when they were selling their house, you know, it's kind of how we focus it. It's like, what is the most important need? Is it getting top buck for your home and you don't care about anything else? Is it, you know, making sure that you don't have to do any additional work if you put a bunch into it you know whatever that is we're gonna say that's what we're gonna focus on to try not to compromise on. i was just gonna say that when we talk to our buyers you know we say it's not always price sometimes mm -hmm. it's terms and a lot of them say well what do you mean why wouldn't a seller take the highest offer and that is a great example mm -hmm. because for them timing was more important than than the price percent. right yeah mm -hmm. so those are the things the most important things that we tell our sellers to Try not to compromise on as long as we, especially in the seller's market, because mm -hmm. you're, you, like we said, you're, you're, you're in the driver's, driver's seat. seat. So we're going to focus on your needs, your wants, and try to make those happen for you as best as we can. 